So this is where I first started playing football. This is Quedu Wanderers. I played here when I was probably about 12 I started playing here. This is where we kind of, I guess, started playing proper football when we were actually playing other teams in actual good leagues. And then I stayed here until I was 16. I then moved to Forest Green Rovers. And then from there I left and went to our local rivals as in Cheltenham Town. And then from there we formed Cheltenham Women FC, did a season with them, but unfortunately due to COVID, we unfortunately had to fold, which is when my playing career stopped. So I kind of took on the role as being a little bit of a coach as well, um, coaching the younger ages. And then through that, I then went on to Hartford University where I study sport and exercise nutrition. I also play for their senior women's football team. Stacey Miles, who um, was my head of football here at Hartbury, um, she set up a coaching development group. And through that, we all kind of got invited to take part in the Playmaker course. The, the Playmaker course in particular is such a great introduction for coaches, in particular females that may be a little bit nervous. Maybe they might be a mum, they might be a student, they might be uh, someone perhaps that may feel that they don't have loads of confidence. I think the BT Playmaker is brilliant because it provides you that online virtual opportunity and it's easily accessible. And then from there, she gave me the opportunity, myself and another one of my players with the first team, um, to coach the college girls. So I'm a coach mentee with Beth, who's my coach. Um, and then we coach the college twos together. She was very quiet when she came to me, um, really sort of lacked in confidence. Whereas now, as you can see in, in the session, she's, she is leading from the front. She's a brilliant role model, leading the team by example. Amelia, let's not get cheeky now. If I ever needed anything, like I can go to Tony about it and she'd be able to support me. Like She's obviously a similar age to us as well and I think that's something that's really good for these girls is I'm a similar age to them. They still can relate to me, so I can support them on and off the pitch, which is also really nice. She listens and that to me is, is one of the most important parts of being a coach and a player, is listening to those that you've got around you. Like I learn just as much off my players as hopefully they learn off me. And I am starting to see that definitely in her sessions now. So it's really, really pleasing to see, it really is. It's great for me to come back here, obviously, you know, like a year later and see not just as she, you know, playing from the senior squad, but now she's one of the coaches with the junior teams. And for me, that's fantastic because it's given her an opportunity to grow, develop confidence. But also, if it's great for the younger players to see, you know, that, you know, you can become that coach. In, in this environment at Hartbury, like, we are striving to be the best. And she, she lives and breathes those values and you see them come out in her coaching all the time. So she's a really, really good coach. She's, she's got a really bright future ahead of her. Ideally, I would like to complete my UA for B, kind of work my way up the FA pathway, and obviously, hopefully put me in front of uh, other candidates when I go towards jobs. Coaching helps me as a person as well, so it makes me more confident. It gets me up, gets me out, gets me doing stuff, and it means that I can create good relationships with people as well. Take up whatever opportunity is given to you. Take up the BT Playmaker course because it gives you the confidence, it gives you great communication skills, it gives you great organisation, time management. And I guess without the BT Playmaker, I wouldn't be a coach because it kind of set me on the road to what I want to do in life. <laughs>